we're going to jump back and we'll get going straight away because it's full body so everything's going to start from one to the finish to warm us up and get us to where we need to be so coming back into your space getting yourself all set up making sure if we are jumping in we're literally just getting started so join in straight away with me our first exercise is cardio it's designed to help us warm up those muscles and get going it is a burpee with a half turn if you struggle with anything that involves jumping you can step it out you can alter you, any of these exercises to make sure that they work for you so burpee and half turn are we ready 40 seconds on the clock we're jumping out burpee and half turn and then we're going to burpee the other way just like so getting our legs warmed up getting a bit of cardio in there as well and having a little bit of fun you can turn it as a circle you can turn back on yourself wherever the deep is for you just get a good jump in there for me good it's very warm this morning so just doing our best giving up rule with what we got final burpee lovely and we're going to come straight down onto the floor i want us to work those arms today we're going to do a nice narrow press up brushing our elbows to our rib cage and then we're going to push back into the pipe so that looks a little bit like this narrow press and then push up to pike like so you can do this you can come down onto your knees like so and then go up to pike if you need to that's absolutely fine whatever's working us whatever's getting our heart rate going and our pulse pumping really good keep really brush those elbows to your rib cage really nice everyone last one good okay a little bit more cardio for us loving my cardio intervals today we're gonna do a tuck jump across to the other side and a squat so looks a little bit like this tuck jump it and squat just get those knees up as high as you can good really nice guys let's go do the best we can halfway really nice get low on your squat good give me one more lovely down to the floor we have got ankle tap outs and tuck unders so we're coming into our half dig shape just like so and we're going to clap underneath each foot each knee as we tap our ankle out good holding it as far back as you can you want to aim to have that lower back on the floor good really nice keep it controlled keep it going you don't have to rush these i just want you to tap under every single time hold that core nice and tight belly button to the floor one more each side lovely okay bringing it round we're going to go into a plank now we can do our plank on our knees or on our toes completely up to us as long as we stay nice and flat so just like so nice and flat or up on your toes and you're going to tap it out to the front out to the side to the back and swap hands out to the front side back and then swap over front side 
side, tap back, swap it over, keeping it nice and controlled on our knees or our toes, whichever we are feeling is working for us. As long as our core is engaged and our shoulders are stacked over our wrists. Good. Give me one more on the other side. Lovely. Bring it down. We're rolling over. We're going to work those abs again. But we're also going to work our arms. So we're going to do a full sit up. We're going to roll through our spine all the way back. And then as we come up, we're going to do an overhead press. So at the top of your move, just pressing up towards the ceiling. Keep those shoulders down, away from your ears. And as you come up, I want you to give me a nice, big, sharp breath out. Good. Fabulous. Push it up. Really nice. Press it up each time. Squeeze it as well. Don't forget to squeeze your shoulder blades together. One more. Lovely. Jumping up with me. We're going to come up onto our feet. We're going to take a nice wide stance, a nice wide sumo squat, turning those feet out very slightly. Come down nice and low. And we're going to move our arms round the top and then to the bottom, touching them together each time. Again, we're working our legs, but we're working our arms as well. Squeeze all the muscles in your arms. Squeeze your lats, which are the muscles down your sides, as you bring your hands down. Imagine you've got a towel or a cushion underneath your armpit and you're trying to squeeze it in there, and you'll really feel it. Good, keep breathing. Last time. Really nice, back down onto the floor again. This time, you've got two options again. We've got a slightly easier option where you just take your legs out nice and wide, but you keep your feet on the floor and your knees bent, or a slightly more advanced one, where we've taken our legs out wide, but they're straight. And we're gonna do a full sit up right here, trying to keep those legs glued down to the floor and nice and wide. Trying to stop them from moving too much. I want you to reach all the way forward, as far forward as you can get. You're gonna feel a nice little stretch there as well. Up your hamstrings. Don't forget that nice, sharp breath as you push up. Really good, keep it going. We are killing it this morning. And final one. Good, you're gonna jump back up with me again. Again, another little bit of a pulse raiser. We are gonna do a curtsy squat to knee drive. So we're gonna take a nice, Deep plie and then bring our knee up to our chest. Holding in that core to stabilize you. If you need to, you can hold on to something. If you have a surface or a wall, you can hold on to that. But we're nice and powerful move here from, the, from a really wide curtsy squat right up to our chest. Good. Remember which side you're doing because we're going to swap over to the other side next time. This is our second to last exercise already. Really good. Keep it up. We've got this last one. Lovely. Final exercise. Getting you back down on the floor again for the last one. We're going to do bicycle crunches with a chest fly. So as you tap that leg out, we're bringing our arms in and out like so, making sure again that you squeeze, squeeze your chest. Imagine you have a cushion or a ball, some form of resistance right here 
on your chest. I want you to squeeze against it. You will know the difference whether you are squeezing or not. You'll be able to feel the squeeze in your pecs, in your abs. And we're working our lower abs at the same time to keep that core engaged. Good, really nice. Give me one more each side, one, two, lovely, hug it in, roll it up, rehydrate, grab a drink, coming over, I'm checking, how are we all doing, are we feeling good? Perfect, we're all smashing it, well done for getting up and getting on here this morning. We've got quite a bit of a mixed exercises in here, each one's designed to try and work as many muscle groups as possible. But when we are doing some of the arm exercises and we don't actually have that form of resistance with us, I want you to really imagine how much you've got to squeeze because as soon as you do that, you will definitely feel the difference. You'll know whether you're engaging those muscles or not. But if we are all feeling good and we're all ready, we're gonna go back for round two to smash in some more. Give me a big thumbs up if we're ready to go. Lovely. Okay, let's do this. Clock's going back to zero and we're starting off with those burpees. So let's get them out of the way. Come on. Let's do this. Half turn each time. Good. Stay nice and low, nice and flat on the out. We've got this, just got to give me a little bit longer. We're nearly there. And we're going to feel so good afterwards. Keep it up, we've got this. Doing this together, feeling good together, having fun together. One more. Good, you can stay down here for me now. We've got those nice narrow presses into pike up. Remember we can do these on our knees or our toes, but I want you to lower your whole body to the floor. Hips need to come with you. Let's go. And pike up. Good. Take your time with these. You don't have to rush them. And nice and slow. You want the move to flow through each movement, engage each muscle. Getting a little stretch out of it as well. One more. Press and pike it. Good. Come back up to standing. We're not done with the cardio yet. We've got that next cardio interval. We're tuck jumping across and taking a squat. Are we ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. And squat it. Lovely. Getting a nice big jump for me. Using some of that power. Really nice. Breathe through it. We're halfway. Get your bum in line with your knees. Keep it up. 10 seconds. Last one. Lovely, here we go. Down to the floor for some abs. We're coming into a half this shape, legs up. And we're tapping and clapping. That is our saying for the day. Tapping and clapping. Tapping out those ankles and clapping under each leg. Remember to squeeze your belly button to the floor and aiming to get our lower backs as close to the floor as possible. Halfway. 
Good. Really nice. 10 final seconds left. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lovely. Sit it up. Turn it over. We've got planks. Remember, we are tapping forward, side, back, and then swapping over to the other side. On our knees or our toes, as long as we're nice and flat. Coming up. Here we go. Forward, side, back. And then the other side. Making sure you place your hand back underneath your shoulder. We want our wrists and our shoulders to be in line. Good. Really nice. Doing that checklist. Even I still have to do it. Bums not in the air. Bums nice and flat. Tummy's nice and tight. Glutes are squeezed. Good. One more. Each side. Lovely. Bring it down. Turn it over. We got a full sit up with an overhead press. Are you ready to go? Sitting up, pressing up. In three, two, one, here we go. Just taking it at your own pace. Good. Press it up. Really nice. Remember to squeeze your shoulder blades. Imagine you've got a resistance that you're pushing against. Halfway. Good. Really nice. Keep it up. Five more seconds. Press it. Squeeze it. Lovely. Up onto our feet. Sumo squats next. Come out nice and wide into that sumo squat position, bringing our arms up and down. And remember to squeeze. Let's go. Also, as well as squeezing our chest, our pecs, our lats, and our shoulders, so many things to squeeze, we're adding another muscle to that list, our glutes. Get down nice and low. And I need you to squeeze your glutes so that it pulls your knees back, so that your knees are in line with your ankles, so that we're not going to roll in our knees, we're not going to roll our feet in, and we're going to stay nice and safe, no injuries going on. Good, really nice. One more, bring it down, and then back up again, down to the floor. Either those wide, those wide box sit-ups with knees bent or straight, whichever challenge we would like to take on, we're going to do a full sit-up. Here we go. I want you to reach, remember, as far forward as you can. We're trying not to bring those feet up off the floor or move those legs. We want to keep them nice and still. The only force we're using to get off the floor are our abs, which have been working incredibly hard today. Well done, everyone. Ten seconds. We're nearly there. And give me one final sit-up. Good. Jumping up. Second to last exercise. How have we ended up here already? It's flying by. Taking the other side. Curtsy lunge with the knee drive. Taking it back and up. Good. Remember you can hold onto a surface if you need some extra help for balance. And if you can't bring the knee up, that's fine too. Just make sure you take a curtsy lunge and tapping both feet together. But I want you to get as low as you can. I say it every time, how low can you go? 
Good. Then bring that knee up nice and high. Engage that core. 10 seconds. That's all we've got. Push with me. We can do this. Good. Final one. Lovely. As we come down to the floor for our last exercise. Bicycles and chest flies. Are we ready for these? Last one, I promise. We're going to tap out and we're going to squeeze. Good. Nice, just getting a flow that works for you. And squeeze. Remember, bend your arms a little bit if you need it to help you squeeze. But we've got that pillow that we're trying to squeeze between our arms, helping us to engage our pecs. Good. 10 seconds, that's all we've got left. Don't give up on me yet. Really nice. Three, two, and one. Hug it in. We're going to stay down here. We're going to stretch. Hug those knees in, taking behind your knees. And then you're just going to rock it side to side, very gently, pushing off of your elbows to help you to rock. You should feel a nice little massage going on in your lower back down here. Lovely. Keep it up just a couple more times. Good. And then from here, we're gonna we're gonna leave one leg out and hug the other into our chest. Should feel a nice little stretch going on in our inner thigh. And then we're gonna bring the knee out to the side as well. Good, and swap legs, one leg out, the other one's coming in, into our chest. And then we're bringing it out to the side, so our knees facing outwards. Lovely, and when we sit down, we're gonna cross one leg over the other, knee out, and put our hands through the middle, and give it a nice hug in. Apply some gentle pressure so that you can feel the stretch in your glutes of the bent leg. Really good. Just enjoying being here. And then swapping over to the other side. Hands through the middle and pull it in. Good. Feel that stretch. It's okay for one side to be tighter than the other as well. Lovely, and we're going to roll over so we're on our belly and do a nice ab stretch because we work them hard today. So coming up onto your elbows or your hands with nice soft elbows and just pushing back here. Good, and then lower it down. We always like to balance it out with a lower back stretch. So pull your bum back onto your heels. And we're just going to finish off sitting nice and comfortably and doing a couple of arm stretches. So take one arm across and the other under. Good, and swap over to the other side. Apply some gentle pressure so you can actually feel this through your shoulder blade and your tricep. And then we're going to come back up and over, hand between your shoulder blades using one hand to support your elbow. Good, and the other side. Hand between your shoulder blades. Lovely, and give it a shake, well done. Thank you so much for joining me for Full Body this morning. I hope your whole body feels like it definitely got a workout and you all did absolutely amazingly at keeping up. So well done. Have a lovely, lovely Tuesday and hopefully I'll see you Thursday at 9.30 back for another workout where we'll start focusing on our individual muscle groups. Well done, guys. Have a lovely day. Bye.